Facing attacks and discrimination, sub-Saharan African migrants are currently fleeing Tunisia just weeks after controversial remarks by Tunisian President Kais Saied. Uh, he said that migration was a conspiracy to change the country's identity and he denies that his comments were racist. Since then, hate speech and misinformation has proliferated on social media. Uh, one example that we've seen uh, quite a lot that's been pushed by news outlets and different social media accounts is that more than 700 100,000 uh, sub-Saharan African migrants are currently in Tunisia. But according to the Tunisian Statistical Institute on Migration, that number is much lower. Out of approximately uh, 59,000 immigrants, about 21,000 are from sub-Saharan Africa. And after that, social media posts attacking migrants also spread to Moroccan and Egyptian social media pages and groups. Uh, social media users have started calling for the preservation of Moroccan and Egyptian identities and this video for example shows uh, how they criticized uh, Moroccan women who are marrying sub-saharan Africans and similar posts were seen in Egypt echoing a fear that immigrants will change the country's democratic uh, profile and this has pushed black citizens to slam the harassment and violence that they've experienced in the streets of Tunisia uh, claiming that they've been mistaken for undocumented migrants and physically or verbally assaulted this uh, pushed a social media campaign with people posing with their Tunisian ideas along with the hashtag my papers on me just in case this has provoked uh, quite a lot of anger in other uh, sub-Saharan African countries calling for retaliatory measures against Tunisians. In this video, for example, uh, it claims to show a Tunisian citizen uh, that's being arrested and kicked out of Guinea. The text here says, bravo to the Guinean government, immediate repatriation of all Tunisians. But after doing a quick image reverse search, well, we found that this video actually dates back to April 2022. And the man arrested here is from Spain, not Tunisia, and he's being led away by police in Ivory Coast for trafficking drugs. So nothing to do with the current situation in Tunisia. Meanwhile, the World Bank has paused talks over its future engagement with the country, and the EU uh, has warned Tunisia against hate speech targeting people fleeing conflict and poverty.